Hi everyone at the Barstool Fund. Hi Dave, thank you for considering my application. Uh, my name is Mary Beth Stark and I'm coming to you from New Haven County, Connecticut, home of the world's best pizza and my business, Bark Avenue Pet House. Let me first say that I'm sure you're gonna get some great videos. This isn't gonna be one of them. Um, I'm not great at photography. Uh, I'm great at saving dogs. Um, my business is called Bark Avenue Pet House and we're in Melford, Connecticut. I opened in 2012. After doing many things in my life, uh, in my 20s and 30s, I was a crazy radical environmentalist working for Greenpeace. Um, I've worked in Michelin rated restaurants. I have been a celebrity personal assistant. And approaching my 50s, I said, I really just want to work with animals and do what I've been doing for 20 years, is saving animals and uh, how can I incorporate my livelihood with rescuing dogs. So I opened up a dog daycare and kennel um, in Milford, Connecticut. And this let me incorporate bringing dogs um, out of shelters and having a place for them to go with having adopters be able to come see them at Bark Avenue and have a livelihood of taking care of people's dogs while they traveled and while they worked. So needless to say, when the pandemic hit, no one was traveling. So we basically had no dogs coming in, except for the essential workers. Um, we were considered an essential business. Um, so I have a lot of clients that have, uh, that work at Yale New Haven Hospital that are doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists. I have quite a few EMTs and firefighters and cops that bring their dogs to me. So we were open for them. But our daily uh, log of dogs coming in went from an average of 35 to 45 dogs to uh, five to 10 on a good day with 10. Um, so we really, it, it wasn't, it, I couldn't make payroll. I couldn't even make the rent. Um, here's an example. When I first, the first uh, wave of the pandemic came in, in April of 2020, um, that usually, April's usually a pretty good month because we have uh, school vacations during that month. So there's some traveling. Um, so we, uh, April of 2019, the revenue that came in was $67,000. In April of 2020, we took in less than 3,000. Um, that's not even half of my rent. So uh, needless to say, I had to lay off my employees and um, I started coming in and doing everything myself, which wasn't really fun at the age of 60. Um, not that I'm an old hag or anything, but I just didn't have to work 40 hours a week anymore. Um, and so uh, my employees are so awesome that they still wanted to come in. Um, I was eligible to get payroll protection plan, but um, just like restaurants that when it happened, why would I get PPP and bring my employees back to work when there was nothing for them to do? And then when it was used up, I'd have to lay them off again. So I held off. I got the second round of PPP, which we actually have used just for payroll. And I'm just asking to get us back on our feet and keep us going for a year. I think once we're out of this pandemic, people are going to be really ready to travel and uh, and I'll be really busy again. Um, so I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, as I said, I'm not great at this. Um, I'm great at uh, raising money for nonprofits. I'm great at taking care of, care of animals. And I think I'm a pretty good boss to work for, um, but my artistic abilities are not there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, splice together a couple of, um, pictures of Bark Avenue. Um, and then uh, one picture where you see where we're full of dogs for do dog take here. And then another picture where we have a few dogs there, which is what we're normally like now. I think today's a busy day. We might have 15 dogs there. But as I said, the daycare isn't uh, what pays the rent. Um, and I'm going to uh, attach a couple of uh, testimonials. I have three clients that are great clients as well as they adopted dogs for me. And then I made a TikTok um, of some... Uh, of the dogs and puppies that we've uh, uh, rescued and adopted out since the pandemic. That was a really good thing that happened during the pandemic, if I can think of anything, is that people knew that they were gonna be home and they were responsible pet owners and they wanted to adopt a dog. Um, so we've adopted out over 65 dogs since last June. Um, so I'll incorporate that. I hope this is helping uh, what you, what, with what you need. And I hope you will really consider helping my business out. 
And again, I can't thank you enough for considering me and for what you're doing to other small businesses. Um, man, this is like a bad sci-fi movie. I think we're going to get through this, but it's pretty whacked. Um, peace out and uh, hope to hear from you soon.